I don't know if it was the grouping with with Paul Heyman um, and working with him that elevated his game in my eyes. Um, if it was just finally getting that nice long run at the top to hit your groove. Uh, but the stuff he's doing right now with the bloodline. You mentioned the shield. So let's look at um, Seth Rollins at this point. Brent, I mean, he's a, a totally different character than when he started off. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and again, the beauty of pro wrestling is is different characters appeal to different type of people. And some guys have the ability to change character mid-course and, and appeal to maybe a different group of fans. Um, you know, I... I don't love some of the current character he does with the exaggeration and the promos and the um, Seth freaking Rollins. I, just, I But in the ring, he's as good as you'll ever see. I mean, that guy is, he's just, he's money in the ring. And I've talked to guys that have gone with him and have just said, man, you want to talk about someone that, you know, I forget how, how Ric Flair used to, he used to refer to Barry Windham, but it was like, I forget the exact term he used in working with Barry Windham and just how easy it was and how great it was. And I mean, remember back to those matches. I mean, it's like a 45 minute match would go by in 10 minutes, it would seem, because they were just so, it was just like making music together. Right. And people that I know that have been in the ring with Seth Rollins say that's what it's like wrestling with the guy. It's just, it's just that easy because he's that good. Um, so looking but, at him as a fan, which you are, still a fan of pro wrestling one to five seth rollins um his, his current his current stuff even though he's 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 so well rounded and so well put together and he's good everywhere i'm, I'm gonna give him a four okay right now the whole the whole character but the in, in the ring parts a five okay he's just, just he's he's really good in the ring there was another guy um oh okay we're getting the uh 10 minute mark here uh, the other guy in the ring. Oh, you still there? I am. Okay. I thought I lost you there. Uh, the other guy um, that we're looking at was also in the shield. This guy named uh, Roman Reigns. Whatever happened to him? Man, you want to talk about a guy who found his found his groove? You know, there were there were certain times where, you know, and and I don't know if it was just the learning process or when you, you know, when you come in and you're immediately shot to the top, you know, it's like you, you almost don't get the time to, to learn all the little tricks to your craft. It's like an MMA guy coming in there in his first fights for the UFC heavyweight title. It's like, that's not the way it works. You need to, you need to fight some lower level guys and learn how to fight and get comfortable in the cage and get some ring time. And then, you know, you're, you're not doing five round fights until you've done a lot of three round fights and, yeah. Yeah. and, and and, and Reigns just got better and better and better. And I don't know if it was the grouping with, with Paul Heyman um, and working with him that elevated his game in my eyes. Um, if it was just finally getting that nice long run at the top to hit your groove. Uh, but the stuff he's doing right now with the bloodline. Incredible. Where do you go on a one to five with him? Um, I'm going five. It's the best thing in wrestling right now, the bloodline stuff. And, you know, it's, you know, that's the competition over there, but you got to give credit where credit's due. I mean, what's more entertaining than what they're doing right now? Yes. Yes. Yes.